Welcome to Corey's Conscious Living. Hello, my friends. Do you love Heidi, Cherry, and Vea? And you would love if you got exclusive stories that weren't available anywhere else. If you join my patron, Cat Club, you will get three stories every month for $7 on the 7th of every month. If you want to join the club and it's okay with your guardians or your parents, then follow the link below and become a patron and join the Cat Club. Namaste, my little friends. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying in your bed. You're all comfortable and everything is good in the world so that you can relax and let go of your day. Cherry wasn't very well. She was laid in bed, feeling very sorry for herself. Heidi and Vea were trying to take care of her. Cherry was having a little bit of a complaint because that's what you do sometimes when you're not feeling very well. You start to feel a bit sorry for yourself. And that's okay. It's part of the journey. Cherry said, I don't feel well. I don't feel well at all. Me nose hurts, me face hurts, me bones hurt. Everything hurts. I'm cold and then I'm hot and then I'm cold and then I'm hot and I just want to cry and I can't taste anything and nothing feels good and I'm so snotty. It's awful. I just feel like death. I've definitely got the suds. I've got the suds. Heidi said, I know, I know, Cherry, it's okay. You'll be all right in a few days. The doctor said you've just got a cold and that's not very nice, but hopefully you're going to get better very soon. Vea said, Me's made you lots and lots of peppermint tea. We've made you some orange juice so you can keep up your vitamins and help your immune system we've got fresh fruit everything's right here next to your bed all you have to do is ask and we'll do it or we'll fetch you something thanks Vaya. oh thanks guys i don't know what i'd do without you i'm so sick i don't know how i got it i mean i do know i think i do know i was playing right i was playing in the park Silly me, I didn't wash my hands afterwards and I'd been playing on the swings, I'd been playing on the slide, I'd been playing on the roundabout thingamajiggy and I didn't wash my hands and I know mum always says wash your hands before you eat anything but I was so hungry because I'd been playing so hard and I didn't even think about it and then I just like ate that, that thing, what was it now, that's it, that Trek bar thingy, I was so hungry and I got my paws all over it and then the chocolate melted on me on me paws and I licked my paws and then I was like uh oh oh no I forgot to wash my hands and then and then and then I started feeling like really paranoid like oh no all those gyms I just ate like the whole park everything I touched I just ate and then who knows who touched that and then who touched them touching that and then who touched that before they touched that and I was like, OMG, I've got so many gosh darn germs in my body now, what am I going to do? And then I was thinking, just trust your immune system, trust your body, know that you're, you're building your immune system right now, Cherry, and everything is just going to be hunky-dory, so fine, and then I was like, oh gosh, I've got the suds, because I could feel it, 
I could feel it growing in my body. I could feel it. Like my throat started to, to get like super crusty and itchy. And then I got like really runny nose. Do you remember? Heidi said, yeah, I remember. I was there, Cherry. Cherry said, oh yeah, that's right. I know what? Oh, before I go into all that again, I know what you can do. Can you sing for me? Can you sing for me? Because that makes me feel so much better. You want us to sing for you? What what song do you need us to sing? How about we play a song on, on, on the radio or something? Jerry's like, no, I'm sick. I don't feel very well. And I want real songs, like real songs, like proper songs, like you're really singing. Faya said, that's fine. Me, me thinks that me and Heidi can sing. I know what, we'll sing that song you like. Which one? said Cherry. Um, the one, um, the sunshine one. Oh yeah, I like that one. That one's my favourite. It reminds me of when I was little and my mum used to sing it all the time when I was a tiny little kitten. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need a drink. Cherry sat up. She had a little burp. She blew her nose and then had a drink of water. They'd put fresh lemon juice in her water just to keep up her vitamin C. Oh, that water tastes awful. Heidi said, it's got lemon juice in it. It's supposed to help you. Just drink it. Cherry said, <coughs> okay. And she had another drink of her lemon water. Very dramatically, I must say. And then put the lemon water down. Okay, I'm ready. She pulled up her blanket and looked at Heidi and Vea waiting for her song. Vea and Heidi started to sing. Sunshine, you are my sunshine. Cherry said, oh yeah, that one. I really like this one. It's so nice. You make me happy when skies are grey. You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sun shine away. Ah, oh, that was so nice, said Cherry. Can you do it again? Oh, um, Faya said, are you... Are you sure? Heidi said, I'm going to go make a cup of tea while Vea sings the song to you. All right then, all right. Can I have lots of sugar in my tea, please? Because I think that's supposed to help. I read that somewhere that that's supposed to help. Heidi said, okay. Vea started to sing again. Sunshine. You are my sunshine You make me happy When skies are grey You never know, dear How much I love you Please don't take my <coughs> Oh, sorry, sorry. Go on. Sunshine away. Oh, that was so nice, said Cherry. So nice. Faya, do you mind coming to lay next to me? And then maybe I can just like close my eyes for a little bit and you can sing and sing and sing and sing. And then maybe I can fall to sleep. Oh, I just don't feel very good. I feel so sorry for myself. I just want to be better. You know, you don't really think about how good you feel when you feel good. Do you? Because you just feel good. And you're like, oh, I feel so good. No, you're not. You're like, 
I just feel normal. But then when you get sick, you're like, oh, I feel so awful. And you makes you really grateful for all the times that you feel so good. And then you're like, oh, I wish I felt good again. Because then you really do appreciate what you felt like when you felt really good. It's so funny, isn't it, Faya? How it takes something horrible to happen before you're actually grateful. Faya said, yes, that's very true, Cherry. Most of us are like that. We don't appreciate what we have every day. No, we don't. We just don't. We don't do it, do we? I know what, <coughs> oh sorry, I know what, I know what we'll do, every morning from now on, I think we should write down at least one thing, or just say out loud to each other, one thing that I'm grateful for, one thing that you're grateful for, and one thing that Heidi's grateful for, like make it our daily practice when we wake up first thing in the morning, we say, morning world. I am so grateful for these comfortable pyjamas. Or I would say, morning world. I am so grateful for this new day. Morning world. I am so grateful that I am feeling on top of the world today. Yeah, something like that. That's what I would do. What would you say? What would you say you were grateful for, Veya? Veya said, mm, I would say, Morning world. I'm so grateful for all of my princess dresses. Yeah, something like that. That would work nice. Oh, I've got a headache. I can barely open my eyes. I just want to close my eyes. Veya, I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not not ignoring you. I just need to close my eyes because I just do, okay? Cherry closed her eyes. Veya stroked the top of Cherry's head between her ears because she knew that she liked that. She was sick. Poor Cherry had the suds. Veya stayed with her and kept singing, You are my sunshine over and over till she fell to sleep. It took a few days before Cherry got well, but she was all back to normal. One good thing that came out of Cherry not feeling very well was the daily gratitude practice. They stuck with it. They did it every day. They got up first thing in the morning before they even got out of their cat bed, they opened their eyes and each one of them took turns to say, Good morning, world. And then they would choose something that they were grateful for. It was a very good practice. It was a practice that maybe we should all do. We should start tomorrow morning, first thing, when we wake up, we open our eyes and we say, Good morning, world. Today I am so grateful for... Dot, dot, dot. Whatever it is that you're grateful for. And that way, you're living with gratitude as being part of your practice. And when you're grateful for the things that you're grateful for, your world becomes more plentiful because you see everything that you have. When we're ungrateful and we don't notice anything, then we always think we need more. But when we're grateful and we see all that we have, then the world becomes a better place. Your world becomes richer and fuller and happier because you can feel and appreciate all that you have. And that's got to be a good thing, right? The end. <laughs>